All right, what I want to do here with this house is you should have a floor plan finished. Look something like this. I want you to make a roof plan and a foundation plan. So copy both up and then start erasing everything you don't need. So for the foundation plan first, I want you to erase everything and then get just the outside of exterior walls. So I'm going to erase this one here too. So just get outside of exterior walls, which we're going to use later. This is the basement, so I'm going to keep my stairs for the basement. And get rid of all the stuff I don't need. Anyway, you see how I'm doing this. I don't think I need to do it all over again. And then we end up with just the outside of exterior walls. What you want to do, all those lines are individual lines. So you want to hit J for join and then select them all. I'm going to explode them first. They're all exploded. So now I, I want to connect all these. So you hit J for join and select all these lines. And then I want you to offset this wall eight inches because it's eight inch concrete wall. They are now all joined together. So now you can offset it in eight. And then it says you want to do a half inch air gap. That's the gap between the concrete wall and where the framing wall starts. So there's a half inch air gap there. And then it's a five and a half inch wall. So the wall from here to here is gonna be five and a half inches. That's the width of a two by six. Normally you do two by four in the interior, but those, those walls don't meet code anymore. So um, I want us to do a two by six interior wall. And you also copied the stair down. So if I enter the stair from the top and I go down this way, now in the basement, I'm gonna go up this way. So as you drew that stair here, there were, I don't know if you noticed, there was at least one stair, maybe two, I'm not sure. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So there's, there's actually a riser right under here. I think there's one buried under there. Oh, there it is right there. It's that hidden one. And then there's actually one more hidden one in the actual bedroom. Don't know if you noticed that, but see there's two hidden stairs. So these these risers, we're going to be using both of those. So make sure that both those risers are drawn. And when we cut it in the section, you'll start to see how those actually work. So I think there's 14 risers here. So if you have all these risers that you saw, but you didn't see these two hidden ones, make sure you draw both those into the plan. Copy those down and then reverse everything. So now I'm going to have storage under that stair. And I'm going to enter from this side, from right to left. I have the same width here. This is the width of this thing here. I don't see, so I'm going to put a distance on it. That is three foot three. And what's the distance of it above? I'm going to put another distance on that. That's three foot three. So I did a 39 inch stair. Uh, I think it's because a little bit of a smaller house. So um, three foot six from outside to outside kind of thing. So a three foot, three foot three stair, and then I put walls on the outside. So when you're in a basement, you usually have walls there. So draw that basement, do the best you can with it, and then do the same thing with your roof plan. So on your roof plan, you're gonna copy that exterior wall and the roof. The roof is just a square above, and here's how you do your roof plan. Um, you, you wanna draw walls at 45 degrees. So I'm gonna type in, say, at 100, which is just the distance, and then I hit uh, the greater than sign or the less than sign, and I hit 45. So whenever I do a, um, a, a hip roof, everything that comes off my corner is going to be a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to show you that again. I'm going to type in at 100. 100 is just a number. And then I hit the less than sign. See the less than sign on my screen there? And now whenever you hit the less than sign, it means it's now waiting for an angle. So if I type in 45, that, that thing will go at 45. I only, I only need to do this once because then I can mirror it. And as you see, I flipped my line. So the white, the white lines used to be my walls and the hidden line was formerly my roof. I flipped those because now this is the roof plan. So I'm gonna mirror those and I'm gonna fill it. it. And I see that's where my roof comes together. Then I'm gonna take these two lines and mirror them at the center of this roof right here. See what happens there. And then these things come together. So whenever I have a hip, this, that is, this is now called my ridge. Um, that, that's the top of my roof. So this is a finished hip roof plan. All I did is I took a, whenever you do a hip, you take 45s out of every corner and you fill it them. And whenever they come together, whenever they come together, the result of that is a straight line. So whenever two 45s come together, the result will be a straight line. That straight line will terminate the next time it hits a 45. You'll understand this more as you go through roof plans, but this is going to be the roof plan for this house. The reason there's a ridge here is because this distance here is greater than this distance. So the math behind that is that 
this distance here is 39 feet, and this distance here I think is 35 feet, something like that, is 34 feet. That's a five foot difference. How long do you think that ridge is? I bet you it's five feet. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So one is 39, one is 34. Uh, so that, that's the difference in the length from here and the length here is going to be the length of that ridge down the middle. There's your roof plan. So now you've done your foundation plan, you've done your roof plan, so now we're going to do our section. We're going to cut our section right through the middle of the stairs. We're going to cut our section right there, and we're going to look toward the back of the house. So I don't ever cut sections from scratch. I use the information that I already have. So I'm going to take that section line, and I'm going to put it on the foundation. I'm going to draw that foundation section first. Take that section line and put it, I think it was right there. It's right in the middle of that stair. So all the information from my, from my, um, I'll do the stair later. I'll do the walls and stuff first. All the information from my plan is the same information that I have in the section. So what I'm going to do is I took all my information from my plan. I'm just going to draw a random line across. I'm going to trim a bunch of stuff above it. So I need to make these lines above. I need to trim them and get rid of them. So this this from here to here, I know that's the eight inch foundation wall. I know this thing below is the footing. So I'm gonna draw that footing first. I'm gonna offset six inches. I know the footing is 24 by six. I don't need the 24 part because I already know the width of it because I drew it in the foundation plan. So now I trim, trim, trim. Did I trim one too many there? I think I did. Yeah, I trimmed a few too many things there. So I'm gonna trim this. There, so this is now my footing below grade, and this is going to be the bottom of my slab. I know my foundation actually goes above grade, so um, I'm going to take these lines and extend them up later on. So my slab thickness, actually, no, I'm going to do that. I'll do that right now. I've kind of done this. I don't love the way I did this. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to do it this way instead. So I'm going to offset this down. I'm going to leave those lines where they are. I'm going to offset down six inches. This is going to be my footing. So my footing is going to be here. So there's the outside of my footing. I erased too much. Here's the outside of my footing. I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of the bottom. This is the bottom of my footing. That's great. <clears throat> and now I have a slab. My slab, Actually, my, my foundation wall starts from the top of my footing. So this is the top of my footing here. This is the bottom of my footing here. I'm going to take the top of the footing and trim all that stuff because that stuff doesn't exist above the footing. And the footing... I mean, that stuff doesn't exist below the footing, and the footing doesn't exist above. So you can see now, this is the bottom of my slab, and here's my footing below, and there's my walls above. I'm going to offset that slab four inches. I think it's a four inch slab. I hope it is. And then that slab stops at the edge of the foundation wall. Slab sits on top of the footing and butts into the side of the foundation wall. Then I'm going to trim up my wall below. There, my section is now complete. So I just took the information from above, made a 24 by 6 footing, made my 8 inch concrete foundation wall, and made the bottom, uh, made my slab thickness, and then trimmed the wall up. So the, st the stuff I drew my foundation, I already had in section. I didn't need it anywhere else. The height of my foundation is... Um, foundation height is 8 feet tall from top of footing. So top of footing offset 8 feet. I'm going to take this line and offset it there, and then I'm going to trim all this stuff up. So I'm just going to draw this once. I'll, I'll do stuff over here later. Uh, this is now the top of my foundation wall. So I'm going to trim this. Foundation wall goes from there to there. I'm going to trim it over here. I'm going to trim it right there. And then eventually, I'll get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to get rid of this. So now I have my wall sitting here. I don't need any of this stuff over here. But I know that this is the width. I know that this is 35 feet. If I put a dimension on there, it went from outside a wall to outside a wall, so I know that that thing there is 35 feet. So I'm going to draw everything over here, then I'm going to draw it on the footing later. So there's my foundation. The thickness of the joist is 12 inches, so I'm going to extend that up. And then the thickness of the sheeting on top of the joist is 3 quarters of an inch, so I'm going to do that. Draw a little line and connect those. And then I know the height of my wall, I think, the height of my wall, my main floor is 9 foot 1 offset 9 foot 1 inches. And that's from the top of the sheeting. You guys are going to learn more about walls this week probably. And then I'm going to draw that wall right there. Then I'm going to offset this wall 0.5 for the sheeting. And then offset it 5.5 for the exterior wall thickness. So this ends up making a 6-inch wall. I know Allah runs his sheeting down there. I don't want you to do that right now. 
because it gets confusing. I want your floor joists to go to the end. I know Allah, oh, sorry, Cheryl teaches you. I don't know what she taught you actually, so maybe I'll stop talking. Uh, so this is the height of my, this is my basement. You can see how I drew a section in like five minutes. So uh, I want you guys to end up doing the same thing. Um, the roof, I'll do the roof later. If you guys can do the foundation, Finish your foundation plan, your roof plan, and then this section. The way you finish off the section is you go like this, use the mirror command, select all that stuff, and then use the center point. I know this is 35 feet because I drew that line myself, 35 feet, so I can just do that. And I trim it. Not perfectly correct, but close. Slab does not go into the foundation. There's my section. Now I do want us to try and start something. Try and draw the roof. The roof is drawn at a 412 roof slope. Try and draw that in section, and then that's what we'll pick up in class on Friday. We'll be drawing the roof and the stairs in section. So if you can get your main floor plan completed, draw your foundation plan with stairs, draw your roof plan, and then draw this much of the section. You should be in pretty good shape.